morning everyone this is melody hope everyone is doing well um let me start off by saying thank you to the new subscribers i've had a couple of new subscribers the last two weeks and that is greatly appreciated um if i have not subscribed back to you i will try and get that done um as soon as i can i think i did to everyone but i'm not sure I do believe in, if at all possible, subscribing back to someone who takes the time out to subscribe to me because that's just a really good courtesy. Um, and you know, if you subscribe to my channel and feel like I have something to offer you personally, then you know, I need to see if you may have something to offer to me personally. Um, and I'm not talking about gifts or anything. I just mean that, you know, as far as like giving back to the community and supporting because uh, we all know that a lot of the channels who have 15, 20, 30,000 subscribers, those are the people or the channels that get a lot of the get pushed to the top, I guess. And so it's easy to get lost in the shuffle. So, I mean, every little bit helps. Um, why am I here? Oh, I want to show you my cards I made. Now, the title of this is Stamped Cards, but those of you who prefer the more cutesy or character cards, that's not necessarily what these cards are, probably in your opinion. Um, I know a lot of people are into like the color, colored Copic images and the scene cards and all that. I've been stamping and collecting stamps probably about 20 years now, and most of the stamps that I buy or have always been interested in or more along um, the traditional red rubber, wood, wood mounted, um, and artier, or not necessarily artier, just maybe not so much cutesy or character type stamps. So a lot of my projects that you see with stamps, that's probably what you're going to encounter. So a couple of weeks ago, I was in Michael's and this package of envelopes was in a clearance bin. I thought they were a dollar. Luckily, they ended up ringing up for 20 cents and it was six of them. I didn't even read the package, but it's actually six card, flat cards in six envelopes. And they measure five by seven. So I'm not up on, I can never remember A1, A2, A4, all of that. So five inches by seven inches. And if anyone knows of any flat cards out there or videos about flat cards, please let me know because I really like flat cards. They're, uh, they're a lot less intimidating. Plus, they probably, hopefully, won't, you know, break the bank postage-wise. I don't think they will. So anyway, here's what I've come up with. I did this one. I do a lot of stamping and just putting the images aside. Not really having a reason to stamp or use them. I just like to play with stamps. And I did this die cut with a punch a while back and that went into a box. And today I broke it out and this is what happened. And there's the back and there's yet another die cut from my stash. And this is what the envelope looks like, just plain and simple. That's one. Um, this one here. Uh, I love torn paper. I used sepia archival ink and edged everything up and distressed everything. The splotches are actually coffee. I had splattered coffee all over a piece of craft card stock, set it aside one day, and then one day I just grabbed it and started stamping on it. And this is what happened. And that's the back of that one. Let's see. And that's the envelope that goes to it. And I told you I don't do matchy-matchy. <laughs> this one here is my favorite so far. This is a uh, stamping on textured cardstock, which gives it yet another look as opposed to your traditional smooth cardstock. And so I have three different images here, so I'm using up my stash. Um, stamping on the background in the background allows me to use some things that I hadn't used, which is awesome. Uh, there's a little bit of collage on the back. 
very neat. I think nice looking. Here's my envelope. I love looking at people's mail art. I love to, to see the envelopes that people put together. Um, there's a lot of people on Instagram that do mail art. So, I hope you like it. Um, please like, comment, subscribe if you want to. Thanks for watching. Thank you to the new subscribers. Thank you to all of those who uh, bothered to take time to watch my video as well as comment on my videos. I really do appreciate that and I hope everyone has a great day. Bye-bye.